All right, this is Jeff at Quadrocopter, and today we're going to be talking about using the Fataba 10 CHG with the Movi M5 specifically, so we can use our switchback here for um, shutter fire. So first with the Fataba, um, we'll hit this mode button. That'll go into our menu. This is the, um, it'll say basic menu up there. Um, you pretty much cruise around with this little joystick. Right now we're going to go to parameter. We're going to push this button down. And the first thing for type, let's change that to helicopter. Push that down. It'll say, are you sure? Yep. Okay, and everything else will leave um, swash mode H1. Yeah, that's fine. So now we'll go back. Let's go down into the servo monitor. So now you'll see in the helicopter mode, channel three and channel six are mixed together. Okay, so now let's set our switches for what we want to use. So for the Movi for the mode, I'm using this switch, which is channel five. And on the Fataba, they call that switch C. So let's cruise and change that to switch C. The other thing I want to do is for channel eight, I want to have that mapped to my tilt speed. So this is called variable rate C or VRC. So channel eight, we'll just change that to C. And we'll go back to the servo monitor. So now channel five, you can see that moving around and tilt speed on channel eight is moving around. Okay, one more thing is I know I have to set my throttle reverse Are you sure? Hold that down. Okay, so now if you hit your mode switch one more time, you're going into the advanced menu. So um, the first thing will be throttle curve. Let's go into there. And for all of these points along this throttle curve, we wanna max those out at 100. So 100 there, 100 there, 100 there and you go down to the next point two, all the way down to the first point. So now as you look at the startle curve, everything is maxed out at 100. And what that did is, let's go back into the basic menu, we'll go down to the servo monitor. As I move my throttle stick, here's my channel six, which is gonna be my pan rate. Channel three is now fixed but that is gonna be my um, shutter fire. So once again, we're gonna go into the advanced menu and we'll go into condition and let's go down to throttle hold. We'll turn that so it says off. We're gonna map that to switch H. H and down. So once again, if we go to our servo monitor You'll see as we fire this shutter on switch H, which is kind of nice, it's a spring-loaded switch. That's actually changing our channel three. Once again, channel six is still working for our pan rate. Okay, and for another quick little trick is when you get a camera operator who isn't sure if he wants to move the elevator stick forward, to tilt down or if he wants to move the throttle stick forward to tilt up. Um, this is a nice way so he can actually change which direction with one switch. A lot of times people are like, well, let's try it this way. Well, that's not working, let's go the other direction. So anyway, they have that option right from this stick. So the way we accomplish that is hold down the mode. Let's go into the program mix and we'll go for the program mix one. We will go and Turn that to off. Let's go all the way to minus 100. And then you have to actually move the elevator stick down a little bit. Once again to minus 100. Master is channel two, which is the elevator. Slave is channel two, which is the elevator. And also I'm gonna be using switch A to make this happen and position down. So minus 100, minus 100, channel two, channel two, Mix off, when you hit that switch, it'll turn to on, and switch A, 
and position down. So the one thing about this is you have to have to um, do this twice. So once again, let's go into the next program mix number two, go to minus 100, move the elevator stick down a little bit, minus 100, channel two for channel two for slave. Um, once again, we'll turn mix. It says off, that's on. Once again, we're using switch A, position down. So now if we go to our servo monitor, so channel two is our tilt, but now as we move the switch down, it reverses. So once again, they can change their tilt direction on the fly. Okay, now that we're finished with the setup with the transmitter, now we're gonna go make sure these inputs are working for the Movi. So I turned on our M5. This is a new FreeFly configurator. We're connected and let's go into configuration, remote controller config. And the first thing is radio type. The value you wanna see is SBUS for remote mode. You want channel five, which um, was the channel five that we mapped on the controller. Remote pan is one, which is the aileron. Remote pan rate was channel six. We have to put the negative sign in there to reverse it. So once again, for the pan rate, um, that was this throttle stick. Remote tilt is two, which is the elevator. Tilt rate was eight, which was our dial here. And the roll trim is the rudder stick. And um, typically for the roll trim, I just use the um, sub trim here, this little clicker here. And what that does is just fine adjust the roll if you take off and you're like, well, the horizon's like maybe a degree off, just give that a bump and it will level that. You can also level the roll in the free fly configurator, um, which actually works pretty slick. Um, so once again, um, that's all um, for our configurator. For using the Fataba, we'll just make sure all those settings are written. So now, if we go back to the radio, Oh, another thing you want to do is just make sure all these little trims are centered. You can see how you can move those around. Yeah, just keep them centered. It'll, it'll make your life a lot easier. So once again, this was our mode switch. So right now we're in the off or kill mode. That is majestic. And this is our dual operator. And you can see this is our pretty much the gimbal, the tilt and the pan. So here is the tilt. Here's our tilt speed. We'll dial that down super slow, dial it up super fast. Once again, this was our tilt direction. So instead of going down with moving the stick forward, we can flip that. So now it's gonna go up. I'll just reverse that. And also this was our pan speed. So you can see, oops, we're kind of binding on the And this is the, the pan speed that we mapped to channel six and the actual pan on channel one. All right, and for shutter, this was our switch for that, switch H. We have our servo, which is um, simulating the shutter fire plugged into channel three of the receiver. This is the, the 6303 SB. So once again, S bus is running the Movi through all the controls we set up. And then also this is firing the shutter or moving the servo in this case out of channel three, which plugs in right behind the S bus port. So you have the S bus port, which is going straight into the Movi, and then channel three is going to the shutter. Um, all right, this is Jeff at Quadrocopter and we'll be talking soon. <laughs>